Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Today's session we are going to do on a contact simulation. Again we are going to do in uh, Abacus standard. So this is uh, the, the steel strip which we are going to bend over a rigid circle and uh, that's what I and this particular problem will involve contact and then plasticity involved in this and then if you looked at looked into the problem I just take it to one particular view so like you have a strip which over a period of time we are going to bend it so we'll just bend it let me animate it so then then you bend it completely by 90 degree and then you'll measure how the the stress distribution change and then contact so this involve a contact and a severe uh, nonlinearity involved in this problem this is very severe nonlinearity problem because it involves the plasticity contact nonlinear geometry on and this everything you are going to do in abacus explicit so you are going to solve this problem in abacus explicit and this is a highly non-linear problem so let's let's start looking into how we can do this problem so before going into problem let's quickly see it what we are going to do we are going to do abacus standard contact tutorial strip bending problem we are going to do the so problem involves a strip which is a uh, 500 millimeter long, 20 millimeter width, and 2 millimeter thickness, and a rigid cylinder which radius is 20 millimeter and depth is 50 millimeter. A typical uh, mild steel motor property we are going to use that involves modulus and then plasticity. One, it is the yield stress and 240 and 0 0.3 uh, 240 at the 240 stress there is a 30% plasticity involved units we are going to use turn millimeter newton second problem in all to define a contact between the the rigid cylinder and the strip one end will be have end caster condition and other end we are going to apply a shale edge load now this this is a learning for you guys because this uh, the shale edge load it is nothing but a uh, the the edge pressure so on the edge we are going to put a transfer pressure of 0.55 and we are going to see how the uh, the strip get bent so let's start uh, solving this problem so let me put a new i'll say strip which is nothing but deformable shell extrusion i'll put this like thousand I'm going to put 0 comma 0 and 500 comma 0 two points and then this is the depth is 20 millimeter so we keep quickly created a strip now in the center position like from where the 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 rigid mantle is there we have to define a contact so I need to cut this strip at specific location so that is easy for me to define a contact so I'm going to cut this strip using datum point so YZ is I'll put at 51 and 200 and then I'm going to cut it so I'm going to cut uh, using datum plane I'll cut this and then I'll just select this and then so I cut the strip now we quickly define the metal property to 10 e power 0 3 and point 3 as a poison ratio 180 as a yield and at 240 the plasticity is 0.3 we'll quickly define the shell thickness 2 millimeter and then we'll assign this to strip so strip uh, all definition we are done now we'll quickly create the rigid part 
which is rigid cylinder it is cylinder shell extrusion we not require this 200 is more than enough I will quickly define 0 comma 0 and then I'll select the circle option and I'll just put a dimension which is nothing but 20 so we are done this and the depth is 50 millimeter I'll also give a reference point because boundary condition we are going to define on the reference point so we define the reference point now let's let's position these two parts now first we'll move this by now this is already at the edge so this is a 20 so I just want uh, we need to move move this by this will move in y uh, z direction so 0 comma 0 comma we need to put a minus 15 so that brings in a center position we'll also move this part in y 0 comma 0 at a starting point and then 100 comma 0 comma 0 so it moved there and let me put in one particular view we need to move this by down by 20 millimeter so we we'll say 0 comma minus 20 comma 0 so it's in touching position I'll also cut this uh, to give have a master contact surface so let me put one thing is like um, maybe I'll I'll cut here part I'll 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 cut this way so XC I'll put zero and then I'll say trim it partition done so we had a partition here so define so we define assembly everything we'll define the steps it's a static analysis nl jump on we are going to start with 0 0.01 a small load and then we'll define the interaction will define first friction mechanical normal behavior and then tangential behavior will define penalty based friction 0.3 and will define a contact so it will be surface to surface contact this is my master surface since it is rigid I'm going to select the outer surface which is a brown so I'll select brown and then this is my slave surface and again the bottom surface I have to select so top one is uh, top one is uh, purple so I'll select brown and it's uh, defined surface to surface contact I'm going to exclude the shell and membrane thickness if you put this then you have to the thickness will take in consideration so I'm going to exclude this so you define the the contact now let's quickly define the the loads so uh, rigid will define no first we'll put a boundary condition so rigid will have end caster condition here this will be end caster condition will define age as end caster condition here then we'll define a load which is nothing but a shell node so shell age load we are going to put which is here done and we are going to say 
it transfers 0 0.55 and it is traction is defined per unit deformable error it's a follow the rotation so the beauty of this load when it get bent it will just follow it will be always perpendicular to this surface so we define that now now quickly we put a mesh we'll select the thing which is nothing but r3d4 we'll select the right algorithm card middle axis we'll mesh this with a uh, two millimeter we'll also mesh the strip which is nothing but s4r and let's choose the right algorithm middle axis done this will put 1.5 as approximate size and going to mesh it so quite a fine mesh we put let me save the job so let me save the job strip bending let's create a job name strip bending and run it let's do a data check first if there is any issue then we can solve it if there is no issue then we can just submit a run and wait for the results So let's see how, how it looks like the INP file. We just submit a data check, it's just going through data check. So you have nodal definition. Let's have a watch. So it is successfully done. So there is no issue with preprocessor, so we can immediately submit a run. We'll submit a run and parallelly will so there is no issue. Let's submit a run and then parallel look into how it looks like. So we have nodal information element, then strip nodal information element and then instance are there. then we define surfaces then material data is here plasticity involved then friction then we define two contacts then we have boundary condition and this is what we have shell edge load so we define everything now let's see how it going so let's wait till the uh, run get finished because it's in a lot of nonlinearity it is going to take some time so once we get to some level where we we have results we'll get back and we'll discuss on the results run is uh, is in progress and it have some severe discontinuation at the start but overall now uh, since it involve also large rotation so it's gone till 87% run is in still progress so it will take some time to finish so in between we'll see how the results looks like so still it is not gone into plasticity so i think at once it gone into per plasticity it will flow fast so let's see how it looks like so it start bending so let me let me put in some view So it's almost come to 45 percent level 45 degrees so it will bend once you allow a full load to get uh, applied it will bend so 
this was a quick tutorial mainly we want to give you uh, how you can handle the highly nonlinear problem second study was in contact and third is how you can apply the shell edge loading so that was the whole things uh, and uh, I hope you like this video don't forget to like us and subscribe us and if some of your friend want to learn abacus please share this video with them thank you bye bye